What's up everyone? I'm the Corsair and welcome back to Let's Play Korot. We uh we did get a, a glimpse of the Shadow Beast and I'm still here with my coffee. Drinking that up. Mm-hmm. A little bit amped up because I'm drinking just straight espresso, but it's it's good times. Um but definitely welcome back. Hope you're having a great day. I am in the middle of the woods, freezing my my butts off. Multiple butts. But yeah, we're back at it. Gotta figure out where we're supposed to go. This looks promising. Hole in the ground. Uh, crouch! Huh? <laughs> Let's go back. Let's go back. Get back in there. Uh, I want to see what else is down here first. I... This is one of those games where I'm probably going to play it through in one sitting. Like, this one on my monitor. Um, like, I'm, I am really in, actually enjoying it, because it's, it's actually running somewhat smooth for me, uh, unlike Fallout 4. And it's very interesting. And I, I mean, really, I could listen to Sean Bean talk for, like, days, and he's just awesome. I just, I really, uh, I don't want to miss anything. I don't want to close my eyes. Okay. No one wants to hear me sing. Um, I think we should go up. Ooh, 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 this is important. Coordinates. East. Okay, so this is just marking where we are on the map. Oh, there's a lot of pages here. That's all it's doing. Okay. Understood. Roger, roger. Who is keeping these torches lit? It is not that easy to keep torches lit. So we could go down, but I'm going to keep going up. Just to see... I want to see what's up here. Oh wait. Oh wait, is this... Were we just here? Definitely not. Let's... Eh? Let's crouch. Horrible hell pit number two. What the fuck is this place? Ah, there's chains and fire and dead bodies. Did I accidentally play Doom or something? Oh, what is that? That's not nice. Okay. We discovered the first one. I decided to thoroughly search the area between the tent and the tree line. I discovered the other bodies every few hundred meters apart. The position indicated the victims attempted to return to the tent as fast as they could. This could mean that the threat was gone and the group decided to go back to the tent. Or just the opposite. Someone or something appeared from the forest and forced its victims to run. At this point, it is difficult to determine what exactly happened. Collected small samples from all bodies for further research at the unit's laboratory. I discussed this situation with the rest of the rescue team, and afterwards they focused on the visual inspection of the tent and areas by the trees, and I entered the forest. And then what? We are sitting in room number oh. 23. Reports, Almost diaries, okay. So the reports are just. whatever. Okay, okay. Uh, I was not ready for that. What do I do? What am I doing? Am I running? This cave. Oh, fuck me. What is that? Do I need to run? Should I be running? Uh, I mean, run. 
I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna get in this cave. Fuck. Shit! Uh, no, no! Step in the orangeness. That is my takeaway. Oh, I'm stepping in the orangeness. Oh! There's no way around it. What do I do? I don't know what to do. That's so stressful. Oh. Do I just stay? Should I stay? Should I stay? I shouldn't go that way. That's for fucking sure. Uh, it's coming right for me. It's coming right for me. Um, this feels wrong. Okay, run! I, I don't, I honestly have no clue how to escape this. Oh, you idiot! There's a fucking path right here. Come on, baby. Oh, sweet glowing ghost. Come on, man. Help me. Game picked up. Picked up quick. No, I don't care about your glowing monster eyes. I'm failing. It, it's a it's a game reliant on a lot of situational awareness, which I do not have. That's something I do not possess. Uh, trap. What do I even? Uh, fuck, I'm, I'm supposed to be up there. Fuck! Mm. No, don't! What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? This? Ah! They just want me to die. That was it. They just want me to be dead. Fuck. This is tough. Or I'm an idiot. It could be both. Oh, that's the only thing I can think of is I gotta get over. It. <laughs> I thought I was safe. I thought I was safe. Hello. Goodbye. Alright, let's go, go, go. The fuck out of here. Alright. Now, oh, what is this stupid thing? Ah, uh, no! I still, I still do not know how to jump. 
But apparently I was supposed to just run my ass across. That's genius. I'm an idiot. Gotta catch my breath. And sprint. Watch the rocks. Watch the rocks! <laughs> I'm yelling at myself to watch the rocks. Is it gone? Oh god, I can see an orange glow. I don't like you. Oh shit! Fire! Fire! Get in! Get the fuck in there! I'm not pressing M, I'm pressing E! Am I good? And no like fire. Right? Right? Oh god, it's coming right for me. Uh. Wait, what the fuck? That was not, uh, not my best work, but also just fucking horrifying. I did not like that. Where have we been so far? I think we've been to, okay, we've been to two places we're supposed to go to. That's what these are. There's places we need to go. Um, 1483 East. That's relatively close. I believe. Oh, 1483? Oh, that's way over here. Yeah, okay, that's that's pretty far back. I think I'm in the wrong area, is what I think. But I also think there's a horrible monster out there, and I don't give a shit, because I loot. Watch, I'm going to die now. What did it? It had like a knife or something. Was I here? I, I, I honestly don't know if I was here. God, it all it all looks the same, except for the uh, demony devil bits. Those look different, but all the landscape really looks the same. Did I? Gosh. No. I would have remembered those mushrooms. Ugh. Oh, God. This looks horrible. This looks so bad. Ugh. It's a, it's like a witch's lair or something, isn't it? This looks terrible. John Bean has not talked to me in so long. Where is Sean Bean? Did he get his head chopped off again? Uh, too soon. Too soon. It'll never be long enough. Um... What was that? Fire? Saved by the fire. I'm pretty sure I'm saved by the fire, but I'm not entirely sure. Ah. Let's pull this bad boy out. This looks horrifying. What are these ruins? Whoa. Wow, that is super creepy. Oh no. Never a good sign when the music picks up. Can't 
candle. Shoot! And paper. 7 a.m. We're finally here. We met a group of Mansi people. They have weird tools. I think they're for hunting. We've also encountered local hospitality when we were not allowed to enter the railway station because we were singing too loud. But we received a very warm welcome from the local school. We had a bit of time, so we met with the students and told them about our expedition. When we reached another station, some drunk accused us of stealing his wallet. Police got involved, but luckily, after some explanations, the whole thing got sorted out. We spent the whole night in the train speaking about love, religion, politics. When we felt tired, we went to bed, but since the compartments were not closed, we decided to keep watch and switched every couple of hours. There are moments when I doubt whether we are ready for such an expedition. Disturbing thoughts are haunting me. Maybe we misjudged our capabilities. Others say we'll make it, but I'm afraid. I have a bad feeling about this. As if a shadow of fear was breathing down my neck. I cannot explain this. It's time to take a nap. Look around. It's clear. A shadow of fear. Yeah, that's accurate. Not sure if I can jump, but it doesn't seem to let me. Oh shit. Really? The music in this is terrifying. How do I get down? Oh, duh. Dummy. Oh. That was a much longer fall, I think. I didn't I didn't expect this game to be this creepy, honestly. Uh it's it's really it's really surprising because I did not like I knew it was gonna be a one of those scary-ish games, but I didn't expect it to be this like intense. Eh, I don't like what is that? Nothing. Uh, uh, no, I don't want to. I know what happens when I pick this up. Shit goes down. Uh, no, they're not going to read to me? Okay, I'll read. A guard's confession. 72-year-old Anna N., after years of silence, decided to talk about the events from her past. She told us... I'm terminally ill and have nothing to lose. I want people to know what harm had been done and all, all of this in the name of science. Anna N. described the place, a science research center where scientists allegedly conducted inhumane experiments on prisoners. There was a special, there was a special chamber. They had, they never allowed us to even get close. It was guarded by soldiers although I did see people that were taken there. Not many came back. I kept in touch with one of them. I saw what they had been doing in there, and why so few come back out of there alive. He looked at me terrified. He said, Anna, have you ever seen nothingness? A deep emptiness with no end? I was there. I stood above the collapsed valley of the universe on the borders between reality and unreality. There's an abyss there, a gigantic well with no bottom, a dark cave of hell. And I felt it. It was drilling in my head, like, ticking, like a ticking clock. It looked at me from below. It was sneaking up on me and slowly started entering me, the darkness. Sometime later, the same prisoner gave me a letter to pass on, in which he had, he had begged for help. I was supposed to give it to the press and expose the whole thing, but the letter disappeared. Up until now, I don't know what happened to it. Anyway, 
it would probably cover up the whole thing. We asked the supervisors of the person prison using to what to which Anna N was subject to for her comment. Vladimir Kronsky, the unit's commander, strongly denied such events took place. He also informed us in a short message that Anna N was a guard but never worked in the mentioned above center because an object like that simply does not exist. I sent Anna N's employee records as proof that in the 1940s to 1950s she worked in uh, such a Noka prison, also known as Special Object Number 1110. She had been let go from this facility due to mental illness. A copy of her health record and medical certificate were attached. So whoever's doing this has some pull. Yeah, whoever's doing this has a lot of power, it seems. No. Okay, I don't think I need to go in there. I'm not, yeah, I don't need to go in the same cave, right? Oh, boy. Ooh, campfire. Oh, you sweet baby. Give me your warmth. Is this a new tent? This isn't the same tent. This is different. Let's see what our progress is. Um, oh, we did get one. Dude, chill the fuck out. The wind is like, losing its shit. I don't even know where we are because that uh, orange glow beast threw me off so much. Uh, that cave? I don't think we went in that cave. Or did we come out of that cave? I got no clue. Seems like a... Oh, I don't think I can get up there. Nope. Nope. God, I need a... I, I, I realize everyone who watches my videos probably knows I need a new computer or I need to upgrade my computer completely because <sighs> just the chop there's chop in every video that I have and it, it really frustrates me it's not fun to watch I'm sure so I'm, I apologize eons just how long I spent suspended in nothingness and then this one time a pale dim glow filled it. I felt as if some consciousness started soaking through an orange cloud into my brain, dripping with heavy drops, not letting me pass away nice and peaceful. I fought with myself. I had no strength to open my eyes. And finally, after processing the situation on and on, I realized I have no eyes. Twenty nine ninety three. Oh, we're low. Shit. No, we're high. We're medium. But we're fuck. Twenty nine ninety three would put us way the fuck over here. Right there. Okay. So yeah, let's follow the path. We'll get back to the trees. And we'll be safe there, right? Uh, <laughs> evil monster writings, neat. Let's just loop back around. I don't know, I'm guessing I gotta be over here. Ah, oh, shit. This is bad. This is gonna be bad. This is gonna be really bad. Is that blood? Oh god. Uh. 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 
I don't want to touch it. Oh god, there's more to read. Anomalies do not exist. When almost 20 years old... When almost 20 years ago, I wrote about a strange anomaly occurring in my city. As a reminder, I reported spatial distortions in between buildings. They thought I was nuts. Since then, mankind has been witness to thousands of strange, mysterious, and unexplained events and phenomena around the world. A lot was documented and supported with hard evidence. Unfortunately, to this day, prominent scientists seem to not notice or simply underestimate the issue. We've asked Dr. Jarvis Northam from the American University of Technology and Life Sciences, anomalies appearing practically around the globe is an undeniable fact. We know that at least several dozen of such events have taken place in Russia and United States, but we have also received reports of strange, extraordinary, and sometimes dangerous phenomena. Authorities must stop avoiding this issue, as every year we register an increase in, the, in these so-called anomalies occurring. I do not know what causes them, but frequently the, re the repercussions are tragic. Add to that the helpless attempts to cover up these events by the governments of particular countries that are just becoming more and more pathetic. In 1998, the Kremlin officially denied that the Special Natural Phenomena Research Unit established in the, in the 50s was to deal with the anomalies in any way. It's a conspiracy! And I am out of time. But definitely, <laughs> I'm sorry, that, that episode was a lot of me just dying and running around the woods like an idiot. But if you enjoyed it, definitely thank you for watching. Uh, leave a, a like and comment if you did. Uh, you, you can subscribe to me today. Help me put the Uber in YouTuber. Check me out on Facebook and Twitter. You can like and, and follow me in those places. And uh, definitely thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And keep kicking ass. Bye!